this. We're going old school. For some reason today I just felt like I wanted to fly the Sabre and uh, I don't have it in DCS so War Thunder was my only option really. And then I started thinking since they changed how the BRs and the spawn system works and everything um, the Sabre actually sits in a place where for the most part it just gunfires things and like the Shenyang F5, the you know the premium MiG 17s and stuff like that, they're like the matter for the other team. So it was kind of like a little mini Cold War, uh, Korean War scenario um, and I actually really enjoyed it so there might be a few more videos on this on the way but uh, yeah it's just a collection of mini dogfights hope you enjoy thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one cheers okay so first clip and um, we actually got bounced by this guy and then he just lost visual on me so just lazily follow him around and get a nice easy kill there checking six after every engagement as is uh, just worth doing and we get fired up by an A9G from a Harrier. Narrowly avoid that. Oh, I think it's a G, it must have been the um, it's the AV8A. I assume it gets A9Gs. But I had to flick roll. Uh, pull in two different directions to defeat Saldon as a close range. Blood a bit of speed doing it. Um, taking a Harrier one circle because it really can't do that. It doesn't have very good AOA at all. And when it tries to push through at a certain point, it just bleeds off a shitload of speed. He does have a lot of thrust though, so if he wants to, he could easily just run away at this point. Nice hits in there. As it stands, I'm just going to try and keep pulling him into the hood and just take the shots where I can, just to get, and just until he's slow. If he's when he gets slow, if he commits to fighting me, he's just going to die. It doesn't really matter what he does. And here he just continues to turn. Dump the nose to get some speed. I think I got some hits there as well. Started leaking something new. I'm just gonna keep swiping at him like this. How am I not hurting him? So now he's getting slow to the point where it's actually difficult for me to pull around tight enough to shoot at him. So rather than slowing down like most people would, here you just gotta keep yo yoing, keep going up, keep coming back down because as long as you're moving at higher speed you'll never be able to do anything to you and if you get jumped by someone else the Harrier is actually going he's shooting off right in the random direction so he didn't even see me, he doesn't know that he's not throwing focus our attention back this guy, but like I say, if you keep yo-yoing, keep your energy high if another participant joins the dogfight you're less likely to get killed by them because you'll be at a higher energy state more able to do something about it when you notice. So here we go, uh, head to head merge with a MiG-15 I believe. Going high because it's nice to have some altitude to work with. Means you can always dip the nose for speed. And he's very lazily manoeuvring here. I think he might have lost visual on me. Maybe he didn't even see me in the first place. We're in the F2 Sabre now so it's got 20mm cannons rather than uh, 50 kills. And he is just running away. Check six, and we've got something coming in, so you always pay attention to the thing that's chasing you, never to the thing that you're chasing, because if you die, you won't get attention the kill you're focused on. Turns out it was actually a friendly Skyhawk. Who is now gunning for my MiG. But whatever happened, it made him turn, so. That's good. Oh, it was actually an F3 HD, but not a Skyhawk. And then um, this guy enters. Um, it's another MiG, I'm not sure if it's a 15 or a 17, but he's latched onto the six of our teammate. So I'm going to let my original target go, let the uh, friendly deal with that, and I will try and clear his six. Pretty proud of that shot there. These uh, these 20 mils are very hit and miss. Unfortunately, didn't manage to do enough damage to stop him from killing our teammate there. 
And I'm not sure if our teammate killed the original target either. So there's two of the ones now. We've got energy on this MiG. Oh, there's a Varator there. Energy on this MiG, so I'm just going to keep climbing. He probably has missiles though, so I don't want to leave the speed too much. Now, yeah, lucky escape. But now he, you know, missile shows that was a last ditch. He's stolen out. He's just hanging in the air, and hopefully I can nail this shot. Very close. Yes, I'll take that to the bank. That was fucking beautiful. And he just team killed the guy that was on six, I think. So it's actually a different guy killing a different battle. But yeah. If I don't get the kill for this, there is no justice in the world. He is dead at this point, but I don't want to be guarding and have it to not count, so I'll try and come back around and hit him again. I always struggle hitting these easy shots. And again, how bad are these guns? Yeah, no damage, no meaningful damage. I mean, he's not going to recover from that spurn, but I just want to make sure I had a crit and so actually gave it to me. And he actually bails, shy of hitting the ground. Back to the CL, and we're chasing a, a friendly Varta that's been tailed by A4N, the Israeli. I think that's the tech tree variant. So cutting inside his turn and keeping the nose down so he maintains some energy and speed. Shoot as he crosses the nose. Not sure if they hit or not. Skyhawk um, has a couple of good turns, then turns into a brick, so I'm just going to keep swiping at him until he bleeds a lot of energy and then we'll run him down from there. I just have to keep out of his nose. Well, it shouldn't be too difficult. And if I play in the vertical, stack high right now, he's, he has to, if he has to pull his nose up to hurt me, then he's going to bleed even more speed, so it just helps to lower his energy state. Up again. Just keeping it. As long as I'm above him, he's not going to do much. And here I should have probably stayed level and done a horizontal turn rather than diving to get my speed back, but. I mean, he's not really a threat at this point. He's not got enough speed. You see him diving down really hard to get his energy back up. But then he's immediately going to go into another turn and bleed it all off again. So, really, I'm just dragging him down to the deck at this point. Because once he's down low, he doesn't have the option to dive for more speed. Another Vautor in the mix. Confusingly, Vautors are on both teams. So look, he's completely out of energy at this point. Try and get... Nah, didn't get the shot. Um, check where that Vautor went. I think it's through that gap in the mountains back there. Attention to the map. Seems to be flying away, so we'll uh, put our attention back to the Skyhawk. And I've just lost visual. I think he went around this mountain crest to the left, but... I'm not sure. Where the fuck's he gone? Oh, good. He crashed in the valley to our low left. Back to the F2. Head to head merge. With a MiG 17. I think it's a Shenyang F5. I might actually do my next video flying this thing if I can get some good footage because I bought it ages ago and I've pretty much not touched it, but that was before this. The R bracket for Simi, so he actually existed. And uh, being a nimble Korean War era fighter with an afterburner and missiles actually makes this thing quite a force to be reckoned with under the right circumstances. The only things you really have to watch out for are the F3H and the uh, Harrier. He's just going to run away. So he was running away, but then I think he sees a teammate and switches his attention to that. So he's pulling far tighter than me. I don't want to just pull him into the hood and bleed all my speed off because then I'll never catch him. So I'm doing lazy turns, just keeping visual on him and just slowly closing the gap. I'm not used to these guns yet, so... Yeah, and the... Uh, 
this this window you have to shoot a target is so tiny and so but it's very difficult to actually be in a fire like this. Because to pull the lead you have to blind yourself, you, you pull them below where you can see. You have to keep zooming in and out quite a lot. I could have stuck with him here, but uh, I didn't want to risk losing him if he pulled under my nose. Ah, we should be able to get the kill here. Yes. So this guy was very lazily manoeuvring at low altitude. Um, I'm not sure what he's doing, but here I realise he's got air brakes out, so it was actually a player. Oh, he had his air brakes out for some reason. Mig 15 non bis that poor guy. Right, as I look ahead, um, MiG-17 gets a kill, I see the splash. So just chase him up through the clouds. Oh shit. What a stroke of luck that was. If I can find him again, I have to... Yeah, there he is. We're in quite a good position to jump this guy. Decent energy stay. Going a little bit quicker than he is. Finally, after any. So the MiG has far more engine power than me and can do a sustained turn much better than me, but the Sabre's roll makes up for it. Lost him for a bit there, but he's up above me. He still doesn't seem to be reacting much. And see, if I had more experience or practice, I'd probably be able to get him there. But it was just a funny angle. And I, at this point, I'm not really sure if he's aware of me or not, so I didn't want to make him aware of me by missing. Um, and we just pick him off here, and that's the last kill of the video. So if you enjoyed it, folks, let me know in the comments. Um, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Yes. Cheers.